Do you want to learn how to import 3D objects into After Effects to make your edits stand out? Well, today I'm going to show you how. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to download 3D Blender. Blender is an open source 3D modeling software that's completely free. So just go to Google and type in 3D Blender. Once you're on this page, come down here and it's this one right here. Simply click into the web page and then come down here to the download button and then press download Blender. Now I thought I'd mention because it is open source, Blender do ask for a, a donation if you want to make one, but I don't, I don't think anyone does. Okay, so once you've downloaded Blender, open it up down here and then you'll find this page right here, this interface. So just click off here and then you'll find the starter cube. Make sure the cube's selected by clicking onto it and then press X. Okay, so the next step is to navigate to a website called Sketchfab. I'll leave a link in the description. This website has loads of pre-made 3D models that you can download for free. For the sake of this video, I've gone for something that I've already used before, so I've gone with this Fortnite plane. Simply come down here to the Download 3D Model button. Press that, and then go for Original Format. Always go for Original Format. Press Download, and then you should see your file download in the top right corner. Okay, so place this file onto your desktop, and then left-click onto it, and come down here to WinRAR. Press open with WinRAR and then go to source. And then as you can see here, we've downloaded a Blender file and then double click onto this. Okay, so once we're in the program, you can see the model has been imported. We now need to come over here to file and then go to export and come down here to wavefront.obj. This is very important that you save it as this because this is what's gonna allow us to import it into After Effects. Go to save and then just save it somewhere you want. I'm just gonna go for the desktop to make it easier. Plain. Go, and then export Wavefront OBJ. Okay, so now we need to get the textures out of the original file. Once again, left click and then go WinRAR, open with WinRAR, and come over here to textures. Double click and then place the two textures onto the desktop. Next, we need to open up After Effects. Once we're in After Effects, you need to create a new solid layer. So press Ctrl and Y on the keyboard, and then press OK. This adds a new solid layer that we're then going to add the element plugin to. So come over here to Effects and Presets and search for Element. Drag and drop this onto your solid layer. Then come over here to Scene Setup. And then go to Import. Navigate to where you saved your file, so mine was on the desktop. There it is, plain. And then leave all these settings as they are. Okay, so once you pressed OK, you'll see that the model hasn't been imported yet. This is because we haven't pressed Normalize Size. So come down here and check this Normalize Size box. Okay, so once you've normalized the size, you're probably wondering where the colors are. This is because we need to add the textures that we placed onto our desktop earlier onto the plane. Okay, so what you got to do is come down here to see materials and click on one of them. Go to diffuse, go to non-set, and then go to load texture. Then navigate to where we saved it earlier, so we saved it onto the desktop, and just click on one of these textures. Press OK, and then do the same for the other two. And as you can see, the plane now has all the colors as when we saved it from Blender. Okay, so next, come over here to OK. And as you can see, the model is now in your After Effects timeline. Okay, so once the model is in your timeline, we need to know how to manipulate it. So come over here to Group 1, then go down to Particle Look, and then go Multi-Object, and Enable Multi-Object. Turning this setting on is going to allow you to maneuver the object in a 3D space rather than a 2D space. So come over here and just have a play around with the settings. As you can see, you've got the X, Y, and Z rotation, which allows the object to be manipulated in the 3D space. And then you can even play around with the position and rotation keyframes and create cool animations like I've just done here, creating a barrel roll with this plane. And there's so much more you can do with this. It's a very useful skill to have, and it'll make your edits stand out way more amongst other people on the platform. If you want to see more tutorials like this, please like and subscribe, and I'll get some more out for you in the coming future.